At his poultry farm in South Africa's Lichtenberg, Herman de Pries is checking on the chicks he has left. This week has seen his business devastated, he says, amid some of the worst power cuts on record. Tens of thousands of his chicks have died, and he says they are still losing birds every day. I think we're going to end up around about between 40 and 50,000 that's going to die at the end. We already took out more than 50,000. Um, it's a very, very sad, sad day for me today on the farm. South Africa's power crisis means most households and businesses are without electricity for at least six hours a day, and often as many as 10. Struggling state utility ESCOM has implemented so-called stage six power cuts, known locally as load shedding. The chick deaths have been caused by problems with air conditioning, Dupree says, adding that his issue started in mid-December when a faulty transformer prompted ESCOM to connect the area to another line, causing voltage damage in his pumps and motors. In addition, he says he's spending about 14,000 rands a day, or over 800 US dollars, running his farm with generators. We can't farm on diesel. It's, it's not consistent, it's, 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 it's impossible. Load shedding has an enormous amount of this corruptions and negative effects on, on my whole operation. And it's not just me, it's our whole community, it's our farming community. The South African Poultry Association says that if severe outages persist, more chickens will die, affecting supply. The industry, it warns, could be brought to its knees. Fast food outlets, including global franchises like KFC and Nando's, have announced temporary closures to some of their stores due to a supply crunch. ESCOM said at the start of the week that it would begin shortening power cuts, but added that there remained a high degree of uncertainty.